Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection Vidar's channel. I will show you the Firestalker by Mattel's Matchbox. This model was released in 2017 as part of the Matchbox Power Grab series. This model being in the Power Grab series is also packed in its own box. And I'm going to show that box to you. This box, this packaging style is a tribute to the older Matchbox series that were packed in cardboard boxes instead of the blister packs that we know today. I have to be honest, I got this model because I have no idea what this fire truck is all about. And I'm glad I got this. Uh, this is being a Matchbox Originals model of a generic fire truck. It has very nice details and the paint designs are also cool on the sides. And it looks great. It has the basic materials that you can find in a fire truck, albeit uh, a bit smaller than your uh, regular one at the present. And I got word from the posters of my original diecast collection photo arts post about this Firestalker that this model was released several times, and this is just a rename for the present release. Let's see more of the Firestalker in this video. There are plenty of form details on the side, and we're going to start here in front. There's a large fender with a stub on top, and I think that is a signal light. The wheels have chrome painted rims, and they're the same size, which is very nice. There are no doors in this model, and I think it is for the accessibility for the firemen to get in and out of the vehicle very fast. Plus, it's very easy to see the interior from here. There are compartment doors and some controls beside the compartment doors and most of them are painted with silver. There is also a, a fender, a back fender, that extends along the back which is half plastic and half metal. Most of the paint designs are in the truck bed that contains the Brush Fire Rescue text logo, the hazard strip, and the generic uh, fire department logo, which looks real, but it's uh, tailored for the Matchbox Originals uh, fantasy world. The right side has many details, but the back, there is even more details. There are gauges, controls, connectors, a valve. There's even a compartment door on the left. On the black part, which is the bumper, there are signal lights, lights, and a lift kit. There are so many details here and I think that the lack of paint can can be uh, okay because the many details can compensate for that. The form details in the front are mostly concentrated in the center at the black part. It's much less than the back but they're also well defined. There are lights, fog lights, and the grill in the center has a mesh pattern. If you look at the front, the the fenders, the full length of the fenders can also be seen on the sides. Just like in the back, there are no paint designs here, but the clear uh, form details can make up for it. Here's the top, and it contains the metal parts, which are colored in flat orange, that extends from the front until the back. That is also the reason why the fire stalker is a bit heavy when you lift it. There are lines in the front hood that are most likely for the air vents, or if they're not for the air vents, they're for design. Two shorter lines here that are for the hinges of the front hood. The full form of the front fenders. There are these stubs in the roof that are for the warning lights and the siren lights in the center. The water pump that contains details there are lines and vents for it and the water tank a large one a large gray plastic with bands and some more controls on the top there are the container doors on the left side which is top here and a tube at the bottom on the right side uh, i think that's that is the water hose which is on the right side of the truck bed the left side is mostly the same with the right with some minor differences. The driver's side is visible here and there is a side mirror which is very nice. 
instead of having many compartments in this part, there's one large compartment with the number 33 MBX paint on it. And on the side of the compartment door, there are these controls that are painted with silver. The paint designs on the truck bed door are reversed and matched for this side. They're still the same. The interior details for this model are superb. The steering wheel has controls, and the important thing is, it does not look like a cylinder. There are even foot pedals, which are very rare in models. There are controls for the dashboard. The flooring has these pips to make it look like rubber for grip. The seats have cushion details, and they have these uh, things, which are really seat belts. Here's the base of the Firestalker, and it shows that this was really named as the Foam Fire Truck in its uh, early releases. And look at that, it was first released in 2001, and the Mashbox logo is a bit different. This ends my video art for the Firestalker, Matchbox Power Grabs Edition by Matchbox. Thanks for watching, enjoy your collection, and see you with the next model.